explorers exploring Africa with Nagra's tape recorders. And uh, I wasn't the first. Uh, I think Mick Fleetwood did a tour of Africa to find the rhythm. You know, it's sort of a pilgrimage. It's sort of like a, a hajj for drummers. Actually, the roots of our culture comes from Africa. You know, the most important, uh, you know, American cultural statement that is only American, that is fully American. You know, they got Shakespeare, they got Goethe, you know. We got our music, which comes ultimately from Africa. But I found in my search across Africa that American music was invented in America. Well, I'd spent two months crossing Africa out in the villages trying to figure out their 19-4 compound rhythms. You know, I couldn't find any backbeat. Or how about four in the floor? I couldn't find. It was all really complicated. Uh, and the different regions have different versions of complication. But the main form of complication is that the music is based on a sentence. Let's go shopping now. Let's go down to the mall and eat some lunch. Let's go shopping now, let's go down to the mall and eat some lunch. Let's go shopping now, let's go down and eat them. That's compound meter. It's one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Because it's a sentence in whatever their particular regional dialect might be. So the music is very complicated. There's no four on the floor like that uh, until my night in jail in Kinshasa. It was a, a small visa infraction. I wasn't gun running or anything sexy like that. But they threw us in the clinker overnight where I heard coming over the radio of the soldiers, uh, this music, Lingala, actually kind of sung in a French patois, but it's kind of four on the floor, blues chords played on electric guitar, and the guy's singing in a completely African style, but the tools in their hands came from here. But they didn't care about where it had been. It came back and they're all dancing to it. Well, right here is a very important instrument. This drum here, across the river from Kinshasa Zaire, after my night in the clink, uh, I went up the Congo River where I encountered the pygmies who made this drum way out there in the fourth world, in the triple canopy jungle, like really far removed. And they survive on elephant. And this is an elephant skin drum. In fact, you can see the skin if you look at it here. I mean, that is babar right there. But it's organic. They ate that elephant and made a damn fine drum out of his skin.